In this video, we're going to show you how to run the tight offset tight end formation, man 23. Yesterday, we talked about our power play, uh, which is a slant post concept or shallow concept. Today, we're going to be talking about a counter play, which we're going to be focusing in on the sale concept. Now, if you want to get my entire tight offset tight end offensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. For just 10 bucks, you'll get access to the entire ebook as well as all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. All right, guys, so let's talk to the second thing that we want to take a look at here with tight offset. And it's really this play, again, PA shot seams. Now, if you cannot run PA shot seams because you don't have slot apprentice, I'll show you how to do it with a corner route or this play. Um, you can also do it out of Saints drive out. But really what we're looking for is some type of good corner route. Why out HB swing is another example of the same basic thing. And uh, we'll show you what the concept, practically speaking, is uh, on the field here. So PA shot seems. And if you look at this play, you see that Kittle is on this deep corner. Now, the reason that this deep corner is really helpful is let's say that they are in a cover three defense. If they're in a cover three defense and I'm in tight, it's hard for me if I'm in this play bench, even if I put a streak to CD Lamb, you'll notice that this is a hard throw for me to make. It's almost impossible for me to make, especially if they have any kind of KO abilities on their outside defenders. So what we want to do to make this work is we are going to run this with just putting a slot apprentice corner out here to CeeDee Lamb, and then we have this route to George Kittle, which is gonna run off all of the zones. So what you'll see here is the third will actually play Kittle, and it leaves CeeDee Lamb open over the top. So in essence, Kittle's route is really more of a clear out route than an actual, I guess, progression uh, in this system. Now this is known as the sale concept. We're just kind of getting at it at a little bit different way. And then I'm gonna talk about the backside routes here in a minute. But again, you'll see cover three, he plays George Kittle. We can throw this route to CeeDee Lamb. This allows us now from tight offset tight end without having to use motion or anything to be able to flood both sidelines from a compression uh, perspective. Now, if someone is in cover four drop, uh, you'll see here, this is baseline press cover four drop. Again, they're going to play Kittle, and then you can actually ag this. Now, you saw right there that sometimes they will play uh, CD Lamb on that, on that route. But what that does, that's going to open up this route to George Kittle over the top of the formation. So you see here, see how, okay, there they played Kittle, and now I just got to throw this route to CD Lamb. So it's kind of one of those things where you got to be a little patient with cover four, especially uh, baseline press cover four drop. One of the things that can happen with this play um, is you can actually hit George Kittle over the top. I'll try to show it to you. We're going to freeform that up, as you can see right there, freeform that up and high point it. And it's a, it's a tight window throw. Um, it's a little bit more effective, I will say. Uh, if that receiver is faster, George Kittle is a little slow for that. So you'll see here, if I flip the play, uh, Tyree Kill will actually run this route a little better. So again, just baseline press, cover four, drop. And then we're going to flip the play and run it to the left side. Now we got a little bit faster of a dude over there. And so what you'll see is now that becomes a really good window, as you see right there, to be able to bomb uh, the cover four. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, you if they're going to run baseline and press cover four, there's a lot of opportunities for us to attack them. So what they're going to have to do is if they're if they're going to run a max coverage defense to the wide side, they're going to have to play cover three on the wide side. When they play cover three on the wide side, then what happens is you see here this corner route becomes wide open. Okay, uh, on either side. So very good against zone. Now. The next piece of the play is really what we're going to be doing on the back side of the concept. And it's actually fairly simple. We're just going to take uh, Tyreek Hill. We're going to drag him across the formation. He's going to be our flat read over there. And then we're going to have Kirk on this backside post or a backside in route. If you don't have slot apprentice, put him on a backside dig. Real simple here. Um, the drag oftentimes will beat man coverage for you. So you have several reads against man coverage. If they run man, really you have a lot of, of stuff. Um, the slant post was kind of attacking a different part of the field. This right here, what we're going to be able to do is now you have that uh, deep corner as well to George Kittle. Now, I think Haynes has inside shade. So 
that's a that's definitely a thing. Um, but you're just reading your corner routes. If your corner routes get separation, throw your corner routes. If they don't get separation, don't throw your corner routes. It's really Madden is so inconsistent in man coverage this year. Like you just don't know what's going to work or what's not. Uh, but the the slot of print is posed. It's pretty reliable as you see right there. Um, and that was shaded inside man. So you have a lot of options against man coverage. And again, your progression is going to be Kittle uh, to Lamb to the backside. So Kittle, no. Lamb, yes. Throw that with the free form. And you can put that ball kind of over in that area. So obviously slant post, probably a better man beating concept, all things considered. But this concept right here just really messes with zone. It's really hard uh, to defend this play with zone. Um, if they do want to run some cover two on you, let's say they want to run some double flat, like double Mabel concepts. I'll show you real quickly. This route to George Kittle can kind of give you an interesting pass lead. But what you'll see here, if you watch this, I can freeform that to the outside because it's going to have that outside leverage. And if they don't have a KO or anything, that's a pretty good ball. You can throw that pretty, pretty easily. So then we're kind of funneling them into having to be in cover three but having to almost like double flat in a way, that's really just not easy for them to do. I mean, it's just a hard play to guard in zone. And so if they if they are able to guard it, oftentimes your post and middle field is going to be open right in that little window, and you can throw that against the coverage. This play breaks down literally every coverage in the game. It's super hard to defend in zone. Um, I didn't get into match coverage. Actually, I'll show you one quick thing with match. So in match coverage, match coverage, honestly, is probably going to do the best job against this play. Um, actually, i gotta, I got to turn my match on. I'll show you something that you can do against match coverage with this play, though, uh, that I think you're going to want to know. So match coverage will probably do the best against this play, like just standard. But the, uh, the thing I wanted to get at here is if you watch – so let's say match. Let's say they get into match coverage. If they get into match coverage, this corner route on the right, it just becomes man coverage. So your corner routes are really not a terrible read uh, against against match. And even furthermore, if you look at George Kittle's route, which we'll get to that real quick, you'll see a lot of times he's going to actually light up, and you can again pass me that up, kind of get it over the top. Now, again, you can also check down to your drag. You can check down to your post. But if you know that they're going to match coverage consistently, my recommendation is just to leave him on the speed out right here and basically just run it like this or with a simple drag. Um, or or another way that you could actually do it, honestly, is to drag CD Lamb. So something like this right here, this can really manipulate match coverage in the formation. So you see here Kittle. Freeform that outside, see we get into a nice little pocket. So Saints drive out, like as is, can really manipulate match coverage. And you can, again, put, you can kind of put whatever you want to. Uh, there's a lot of different variations of, of things you could do. But that, that route, and then also this route over here on the left side, can really put match coverage in a bind. So we'll get into that a little bit more when we talk about the actual seams concept. But th that... I wouldn't worry too much about match if they do go to match consistently. If you just quick height this play, a lot of times people don't realize this route to Kirk is so good against match coverage. Uh, this year, match coverage just dumbs out with these routes. So you can freeform, high point, up and over, and have yourself a window to hit it. A lot of times it'll actually go for a touchdown. So there's a lot you can do uh, to, to kind of deter them running match. If you run the slant post concept from yesterday, oftentimes that slant is going to be wide open against match. So... If they do, match coverage is definitely going to play that play specifically really well, but there are some little things you can do to make it really hard to stop it. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Saints Tide offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. Link is down in the description below.